Bayern Munich's three to nothing victory, three to one on aggregate against Lazio. Uh, completely scripted scoreline for the Champions League. Uh, by the way, uh, March the fifth is the sixty fifth day of the year in this leap year, and of course, you know these teams play every other week. It's Gamacho, Bayern, and Sarri that are playing on the 65th day of the year. Maurizio Sarri uh, is the manager of Bayern, but 3-1 to one on aggregate. Harry Kane is an Englishman. Wembley's hosting the final this year. It's Wembley, that's Gamacho, 31, 3-1 to one on aggregate for Bayern Munich. We can still see Man City defeat Bayern in the final, 3-1 to one aggregate. At the least, it just shows that it's all... Scripting and narration leading up to the final match over at Wembley. Now, Arsenal Football Club is Camacho 65. So, what if the former Chelsea manager heads back to London, Thomas Tuchel, who uh, used to manage Chelsea? And what if Harry Kane uh, heads back and faces off against Arsenal? Uh, he defeated Matteo Guendouzi of Lazio, who used to play with Arsenal. And what if Bayern get drawn against Arsenal? in the quarterfinals. That's something that could very well happen. Now, consider this. Arsenal's down one to nothing. Wembley's Gamacho 31, and then it's also Porto that's Gamacho 30. So what if Arsenal get a 3 nothing win against Porto, and then they end up uh, moving on to the quarterfinals, Arsenal? Because this uh, Champions League uh, being concluded at England is going to be a very big one in terms of narrations for the Euro and as far as which English players are going to win the final at Wembley. John Stones, Phil Foden, Jack Grealish, Bukayo Saka of Arsenal, um, Declan Rice, uh, obviously Jude Bellingham, so at the least, and uh, Harry Kane on Bayern, so we should see uh, a semi-final with many English players, you know, which English player to make it to the final?